Hello everyone and welcome to week two of the Nintendo World Report Super Smash Brothers Tournament. I'm Scott Thompson. And I'm Neil Ronahan. And uh, today we have a great matchup for you between uh, Team PGC, Planet GameCube. We have Mike Sklens, uh, TYP, Mike Cole, and Steven Rodriguez, Windy Man. And we got Team Swan, who came off of a heartbreaker against the RFN Trolling Dust Bellows team. We have Don Koopman playing as Dark Pit, Brian Rose as Mario, and Austin Clark? Clark. Yep. Clark as Zero Suit Samus, the only character change from that team. Exactly. Uh, whereas Team PGC, I think, also had one. Uh, I think TYP changed to Zelda yeah. this match. I, 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 I know that Shulk last game. Yeah, TYP, uh, I've known him to be a good Zelda player over the years. Okay. Uh, so I'm not really that surprised. But this first match we have is, is probably uh, the person with the best KO from week one, uh, Mike Sklentz. Yeah, I'll see if we can pull off any uh, fancy shenanigans like that again. If you haven't seen the week one video, his play pigeon deflecting the beetle throw by Carmine was, was incredible. I don't know that we'll top it the rest of yeah. the tournament. But wow, a big KO already by Mike, taking a yeah. quick lead against uh, Don's Dark Pit there. And now if you look at oh, and that's that's dangerous. <laughs> um, so here, here, let's go over the item rules for this one. Yeah, I love them because they're so crazy. Yeah, so we got, we're on Wii Fit Studio, which means it's all flat, and the only items that you have are the Ore Club, Kuko, and the Fire Bar, and they're on high. Yes. So as you can see here is that you have things that do damage, and then Kukos appear on the screen, and then they will hate you. <laughs> yeah, it's basically impossible to avoid hitting them and, uh, and you know, yeah. drawing their ire, there I guess. There we go, knotted up. I like oh. this match because it's moving quickly. Yeah, a uh, little peek behind the curtain here. We just finished up recording the, the newscast RFN match, which, which was, was literally a half hour. A half hour. <laughs> so we are all for the quick KOs now. But, ooh. Ooh. I mean, this is this is a good, pretty even match here, although although well, Don's got I'm... high percentage right now. Wow. And he's pulling out the Doge Taunt again. And there's a Kuko on the board. That that could be key. That's a game changer. <laughs> the Kuko might have just walked up the side. Uh, uh. Yeah, Kuko uh. went off the side. Yeah, I'm impressed with Mike's play so far. He's, he's taking a commanding lead over Don. And just really impressive, too, coming in and not knowing uh, just how crazy this item set would be. Yeah. But there's Don doing some damage. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's a Kuko uh -oh. there. Who pissed <laughs> off the Kuko? Caught on the crossfire. Seems to be targeting Don there. His yeah, uh, Don's items getting beat up. I mean, so far. This is this is not looking good for Don. There's basically a stock difference between them right now, and he's gonna have to play well to catch up. Yeah, but the Orc clubs. I mean, that's it, the Orc so clubs many. are devastating. I mean, I, I like this. I this, this item selection is very creative. I like it. And Don was the unfortunate victim of the the great RFN Gus Billows challenge of 2015. <laughs> and, I would say that, and that was a match in which he dominated for the most part. Yeah, then, like, yeah, just fell victim. Yeah, he was playing Johnny Metz, and it was it was very close. He almost had it, and then right at the end, the Gus Bellows the Gus Bellows destroyed him. Oof, and it, it was I, the difference between his team winning the match, losing it, as it was knotted up one on one, and they ooh. they were the decisive. Oh, there we go. Don still a little bit of Don, a back here. I can't see Don coming back. I mean, he's really got to play carefully here. Doing a good job so far of avoiding. And this is going to be. Let's see if Don really is that great with Dark Pit. I still don't really know why he plays his Dark Pit. <laughs> or Black Pit, as he's called in the Japanese version. Is it? What? Whoa! What the? What Wait, just happened? What? What was Mike even at? Like 30%? <laughs> Holy shit! Wow. Well, Alright, uh, Don takes it, and that means uh, Team PGC suffers their first loss ever. Wow. Um, as now Swan goes up 1-0 as we go into the second match, which is uh, the Link Control, or the, the Link Controlled Windy Man. And the, the Windy Controlled Link. <laughs> and the Brian Controlled... Mario, uh, this is a matchup of two fighters who both won their first match, and there's some Kuko mayhem going on. Already, uh... Brian, who responded very well to the, the weird item selection by RFN. Oh, he right suffers a into loss. that he, one. That is the first death that, that Brian Rose has suffered in this, this league. And, you know, it was a small sample size, but I thought his Mario was actually pretty good in that first match. I know it was just Gus Bellows, but I thought he, he displayed some good yeah. control there, and... 
And it wasn't just him using the Gust Bolt. I thought he, he did a lot of, uh, you know, just good maneuvers damaging John in that first matchup. Yeah, because it was, I mean, a little bit was uh, John kind of screwing himself over in the Gust Bellows setup. But it was still Brian playing playing very well. And, I mean, he, he did get that early, that early loss here, but Wendy's just a really good link. Yeah. Oof. I mean, I still, uh, so far at this stage in the game... Oh. Here it comes. <laughs> There's some Kukos. That, that could be bad. It could be very bad. I, I'd still <laughs> say for my money that I think Team PGC is, is the best team in, in the entire league so far. And, I mean, looking at how Windy is just taking care of business right now... Wow. ...really drives it home that this team is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I would agree. Team. We talked about it before uh, in between matches here, but Justin Berube, I think, is the MVP of the league so far. Yeah. But it's hard to find a more well-rounded team. He's oh, like I LeBron on the Cavs. There. Yeah. <laughs> this it's hard like, to find this more, is, this more is like the San Antonio Spurs. That's what PGC <laughs> is. They're older. You know, they've been around a while. I guess, and they just, they just know how to win. Would he be the Tim Duncan? I don't know. I don't really follow <laughs> basketball, and I'm sure that most of the people listening probably have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, you have to compare it to video games in some yeah. way. Um, Wendy's like Link. <laughs> Mario's like... It's like Mario. That's, uh, it's amazing I mean, how they like, I, so I should be doing mind. yoga while we're recording this commentary. Just follow the Wii Fit Man in the background. Yeah, that is actually a good idea. Oh, wow. I don't think he's wearing pants. And Link takes it. Wow. Um, but there, uh, there, there, Link goes two stocks up. That's uh, that's big for the tiebreaker. As PGC now ties it up 1-1. One, one. Yeah, so is this the deciding match now between Austin and Clark? And TYP, and like we said, Austin did change characters. He was Sonic last match, uh, which was horribly mismatched for the rule set. Yes. Um, unfortunately for Austin. And also, what the hell play is Sonic? And there's Kukos wrecking some havoc on Austin. And we got TYP switching to Zelda, and TYP, I, I've known him to be a good Zelda player throughout my time knowing him. So I think I, if I were to pick a favorite to win this, it would it would be TYP. Touch your toes with both. Austin's doing pretty well so far, though. I mean, the the, the Kukos didn't help, but yeah. he seems very evasive. I like his mobility. I think he's doing a good job here. Oh, not there, though. <laughs> no, there's, there's a, it's just a really well-placed, well-placed in fire by TYP as Zelda. Um, to go back to what you mentioned earlier, I do encourage any of the viewers now to go ahead and do yoga while you watch the matches. I mean, yes. follow along with the fit trainer in the background there. You can also, I mean, maybe try to some light meditation, you know, use your breath as your anchor. And just, <laughs> and just really, really relax, take a load off. Are you doing that? Good. I uh, always. <laughs> I'm, bre I'm breathing deeply. Yes, I'm breathing. It's wonderful. Uh, There's, there was a Kuko that might have just walked off. I love that Kuko think did. just walk off the side. Yikes. TYP with these item throws nearly already had Austin back. And there we go. Wow. Down three to one. Yeah, I don't know, but I, I'm thinking a clean sweep here. I, Austin's going to have a hard time coming back. 57% is not a lot of damage yeah. for, I mean, basically, I mean, for TYP being on the same life so far the whole match. But we'll see stranger things that happen. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we did see earlier. We did see like Don swings. come come back from behind. Yeah. He was down to one life, and I think Mike still had three, and or, yeah. or at least two, and he was at a high percentage as well. Yeah, absolutely. And Don pulled some wizard rig. That was that was probably one of the better comebacks so far in this year. I would say so, yeah. But if Austin can pull this one off, go. and, he, and he's got a kill, he's keeping his percentage on the lower side too. It's just but there's no healing items in. here, so he's he's gotta he's gotta rely on his skills and his wits. Here we go, evened it up right there, the percentage. But there's a Din's fire. TYP is just very good at sending that out there and being a little discreet about it too. Oh. This could be it. Wow, nope. TYP went in for the kill. <laughs> but he couldn't he couldn't do it. But still, oh. I mean, it, it does, it feels like it's a matter of time before 2xP getting that final kill. Yeah, so I just can't we'll see. Because now he's, he's up oh. to over 100%. 2xP still has two lives left. Let's see. Oh, the Cuckoo, that could help. 
but look at wow. look at QIP dodge the majority of up. You cannot run the Kuko forever. <laughs> that that could wow, they very nearly even it up. And there we go. There we go. Wow. All right, we're down to one. This Austin might pull this off. Nope. Oh. No. <laughs> and so uh, Team PGC takes it as they improve to two and zero. Oh. Uh, they so are great, right I mean, now... great, great game by Austin though, and I mean a good job yeah. to take down his stock, which will definitely impact uh, PGC standings later with tiebreakers. So that was really good. Yeah, I mean that puts PGC there in first place, and because of that, the way the stock fell, they're tied for first place with Team Mausers. The Swan go. falls in; uh, they're they're zero two, and they are tied for second to last. So not not a good start for them.